This is a story about having two weeks left to live in the United States of America. I'm saying farewell to this great land that raised me for more than 20 years with one last road trip from my home in Arkansas to Seattle. Then I'd be returning to my birth country, Mexico. On this journey, I meet strangers and family who tell me who they are and what's so special about the place in which they find themselves. They'll teach me that no matter where you go, part of your hometown goes with you. And there's preachers every Sunday, musket lines each fall. I'd like to die in Arkansas if I should die at all. You could call it alchemy, some ancient art of old. Hillbillies with no money spun their garbage into gold. It's never easy to say goodbye to a place like Fayetteville. My dad brought our family here from Mexico in 1993 so he could get a doctoral degree at the University of Arkansas. I stuck around for many more years going through the failures and triumphs that shape a person. Fayetteville educated me from 6th grade to a master's degree. It gave me opportunities, second chances, a family of my own and a job as editor of the area's weekly Spanish newspaper. Gracias a todos los lectores por seguir confiando en nuestros reportajes. But seven visas and two work permits later, I had no path toward American residency, much less citizenship. Though the newspaper tried to sponsor my green card, I got rejected for the visa that leads to permanent residency. So as much as Fayetteville was home, it was destined to be a provisional one. I decided to stop getting temporary visas, leave my comfort zone behind, and go back to the unknown in my home country. After all, I really did miss Mexico. I had a happy childhood there and I could finally be a citizen with full rights. Once we packed and sold all of my family's belongings, there were only two tasks left. One was to get my Russian wife her Mexican residency. This is her on top of Mount Magazine, the highest point in Arkansas, after she got her Mexican papers in Little Rock. The second task was to sell our car, a Toyota Prius we bought brand new in 2012. After posting it on Craigslist and eBay locally, there were very few takers. So a friend suggested posting the car for sale in a city with a bigger demand for a hybrid. Seattle seemed like a good choice. Surprisingly, that worked. Hello, I saw that you had a Prius for sale and I'm interested in checking it out. My number is 360-284. With two weeks left before my visa expired, I thought of taking a final solo road trip to meet the potential buyers while I visited family in the Pacific Northwest. Although first, I stopped by Springfield, Missouri to meet an interested buyer. But when we couldn't reach an agreement, I took it as a sign to continue towards Seattle, passing through Kansas, Nebraska, and stopping for the night in Council Bluffs, Iowa, right across the river from Omaha. When I started meeting amazing people in incredible places, I knew I had to film this adventure. It would be like a swan song for the great American road.
Lewis and Clark from the of Meriwether Lewis from the Lewis and Clark expedition. So why are you here in Omaha? Just a quick getaway. I thought it would be a very nice place to see, and there's a lot of history involved. Um, and um, just basically um, knocking two states off of my list, Iowa and Nebraska. So what do you think of Omaha so far? Beautiful. Every, I think everybody's really friendly and everybody's been welcoming and just a bunch of beauty. It's very green. Uh, the city's awesome. I love the Midwest. I always enjoy getting west of the Mississippi because the buildings are younger, but and, and so they haven't been torn down. So there's still a lot of historical architecture and things to see, and a lot of the East Coast that hasn't been preserved is, um, has been replaced by more modern things, and just you, you can't find the history that you can once you get into the Midwest or the West. So. Omaha has been the Midwest Regional Office of the Park Service since 1937. It was originally put here because this is a great crossroads, especially in terms of rail traffic, which most of the U.S. was on back in the 30s. Uh, it's been there, uh, and we've been in various locations around the city until we came here in 2004. This site in particular is really meaningful for us at the Lewis and Clark Trail because we are right on the river that Lewis and Clark came up over mm -hmm. 200 years ago. I think Lewis and Clark is a great story. You get to talk about all of these different things. Most of the national parks are very keyed into one specific area of history, which is awesome. But here, I actually get to talk about all these different things because it was an expedition of over 40 people that lasted two and a half years. So, uh, and it includes medicine, native relations, natural history, geography, geology, all of these different areas, which is really cool. I also have to include as a caveat that I'm speaking more in my uh, own personal capacity and do not in any way represent the beliefs or stances of the National Park Of course, service. yeah. <laughs> On the second day of my trip, I continue from Omaha to South Sioux City, Nebraska. That's where I pay a visit to my brother and his in-laws. You're gonna be famous, Tristan. Yeah, you're gonna be in Nickelodeon. <laughs> okay, I've never seen the, the inside new bay of, it, of, a, of a car. I don't know. Is this your first Prius that you guys see? Your first hybrid? Probably. First time I actually paid attention to it. <laughs> Cause I, I used to like not care about these cars, dude, but lately with uh, Fernando's always told me, man, 51 miles plus. Per gallon, pretty cool, man. <laughs> Where do you think it's a good place to sell this car? Like you said, Seattle. Were you born here in South Sioux? Sioux City, right across the river. This is all I've known my whole life. I love it here because cultural, all the different races come together. This is the tri-state area, basically. Within a four-minute drive, you could be in Nebraska, going to Iowa, and then be in South Dakota. 
and uh, half hour up the row is Wells Blue Bunny, ice cream capital of the world. That's where I work, 15 years. They employ 2,000 plus people, expanding. So, I mean, people have everything they need here, right? Oh, That's yeah. Nice oh, yeah. It's a good place to raise a family. All Very right. Very good place. Yeah, and you guys have a lot of people from Jalisco here? Oh, from a lot of people from San Julian, Guadalajara, from everywhere. But mostly those two places. And you've been to Mexico several times, oh, right? Oh, yeah. How I'm do you like from Guadalajara, so I love Mexico. The federal police in Mexico like to mess with me, though, I'll tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think that is? Well, they probably want pesos. <laughs> They're actually going to get arrested because I was driving from Guadalajara to Leon and I didn't have my passport, so they said I was there illegally. And they were trying to, my cousin got out, went in the back, handed over some pesos, and that was it. <laughs> you should get the Mexican passport. <laughs> I, I should. You should. I mean, you don't have to pay any more federales over there. But I think they'll still mess with me regardless, I look white. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you come here and where did you come from? Well, I came from Guadalajara and the reason that I came here is because my wife's from from here, from Sioux City, from South Sioux City. What do you like about Sioux City? Well, it's flat. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> and uh, my family's here. <laughs> I mean, I like it, but it's... Um, I guess I have my mariachi band here, so I like that as well. I don't know, it's just safe, it feels safe. I came from a city where you never know, you know, what's around the corner. Sometimes, for the most part, it's, it's safe in Guadalajara, but... So I, I, here, you just don't have that feeling of just like wondering what's gonna happen. <laughs> and do you like your job? Yeah, yeah, I like my job. So, I guess I'm here to stay. When my iPhone camera begins to act up on day three, the guys at Best Buy Mobile in Sioux Falls, South Dakota, diagnose and fix the problem. I got a defective microphone. Bad mic. And now I got it fixed, right? Yep, yeah, I hope so. You won't be able to hear us right now if that's the case. Uh, I am an assistant manager for Best Buy Mobile, selling and fixing phones. <laughs> including? Including yours. <laughs> so why do you love Sioux Falls? What's so great about it? It's quiet and there's not a lot of crime. It's clean. Like when you drive around here, you notice that it's not like a dirty city. It's very well kept. Uh, the people are nice. And there's nothing not, not to like. It's everyone's willing to help someone though. Uh, there's so many great restaurants in town. There's Jackie's. Uh, we've got uh, just bomb food everywhere, man. I'm originally from Lincoln, Nebraska. I grew up there and moved here when I turned a teenager. I'm um, originally from Dallas, Texas but live up here, I've been living up here in Sioux Falls for the past uh, seven, eight years. My wife is from Laverne, Minnesota, south, southwest corner right there on the border there. Um, yeah, it's, it's been great. It's, it, it's, it's been an adjustment, I gotta say, from live, grew, um, growing up in Texas, used to the heat, the hot summers, and then coming up here, getting your four seasons, and then the deadly winter, so it's been a, quite an experience bit, but... You survived Chuck Norris? Yeah, actually, I've grown up uh, doing acting and theater, um, TV and film. Um, I've done Walker, Texas Ranger, the old you know TV show back in the day. I was a stand-in stunt double for the kids in the show. That was kind of my summer job for uh, through high school. And then went off to New York City to do the um, 
Ready to see Christmas Spectacular with the Rockettes. Traveled all over the country, Canada. So I've done a bunch of TV stuff out in LA and everything. And then once we move back up here, and so I've just been kind of doing some local stuff as well, and then seasonal when the Christmas time is around. What kind of phone do you have? I have a Samsung S7 Edge. It's great. Yep. So is yours too as well. So it's been great. Awesome. Thank you. Somewhere away like that. So, <laughs> so stay tuned. I'm gonna give a shout out to Jose and tune in on uh, I-90 on Keeley Radio. I'm gonna shout out to Jose passing by through the South Dakota Great Plains. And I think Jose out there for tuning in to Keeley Radio. Got a program meeting 61 degrees here at Keeley Radio. Partly cloudy winds out of the north here. About uh, five miles per hour. I was gonna say too, this is her lead number. <clears throat> also, if you're driving, not sure, buckle up, drive safe, click it or take a drive safe, be safe, have an awesome night, and don't touch the dial. Keep it locked here on Keeley Radio. Here we go, the music here by District Records. Featuring Butters. Got you yeah, I was going to shout out to Cola Jose tuned in on I-90. Here we go, District Records on Keeley Radio, local boys. Show me, I can show you everything you need. Cheyenne. I was born here in Lame Deer, Montana. Lived in Lame Deer for 24 years all my life. I have lived here for 15. Have you traveled outside of this many times? And yeah, I've been a few places. I used to live in Bozeman, Montana for a few years for college and stuff, and I ended up coming back. What's so cool about Lame Deer, Montana? You do a lot of fun stuff because our ancestors lived here. One one of the cultural things that you like about your nation. Uh, our medicine wheel. Or is this where you want to stay? Is this this is it? I mean, where all my family's at. It's where I stay. After getting little rest on day four of the journey, the people and vistas of Big Sky Country keep me motivated and so does this message. Hi, um, I just wanted to check in with you and see what your timeline is for arriving in Seattle because I am still very interested in the car and actually I wanted to um, ask you if you were willing to negotiate on the price a little bit. Give me a call back when you get a chance, please. I would appreciate it. Thank you. Bye. With my spirits lifted, I become more enamored with Montana and the Yellowstone River. And apparently, I'm not the only traveler enthralled by the natural beauty. Why are you here? We're on a, as we already talked, semi-vision quest looking for the next answers in life. And this is what it's all about. You've already seen it. Hopefully, you got a whole panoramic view of this place, right? Oh, yeah. Jose? So, we're just on the road. I'm heading out to uh, Post Falls to see my son. I haven't seen him in three years, and uh, so he knows I'm coming. Hopefully, he's got a room for me, and then we'll go from there. So. And right. you're originally from where? DeKalb, Illinois. Okay. West of Chicago, 60 miles. What makes it home? That's where my house is. But right now, home is where I am. And 
whether it's on a motorcycle, back of the camper, or in the back of my Jimmy, I'm enjoying life and enjoying where this, where it's going to take me. If you sing, sing for the big thing hanging over our heads, that the best you've done is love, it still ends up dead. Honey, I don't know if I believe in heaven. In my head, it's always dark and bare. Honey, I can't think of an afterlife worth living. When in your heaven, I know I ain't there. I've lived in Helena, well, I lived here until October of last year for two years. I managed the Perkins restaurant here. And then I moved back to Libby, Montana, which is where I had been the 10 years prior, and came back about a month ago. All right, and you're originally from? Spokane, Washington. Yeah, it's kind of weird, because I'm like, how the heck did I end up in Helena? You know, I don't even really have family here, but Helena is uh, a good mix between a small, city and a, a large city so it's got a good mix of everything here I like that it, it's easy access to the capital you know if you need to do anything with your license it's all right here that's kind of cool that's be, that's been convenient for me a couple of times and you know there's a lot of recreation around this area the mountains the lakes you know they're all just right here so that's nice it's right wing and it's left wing and you know it's kind of a political town but I think there's a good mix here of that. I plan on staying here. Yeah, I like it here. Cause I don't care to work on a Sunday. I dug gravel for miles across some site. Don't tell me some loves take a back road to town. You'd know I like to drive all night. Well, a poor boy finding you is like buying a lottery ticket And when you said I couldn't hold you, I told you we ought to forget it And I don't care to be happy, just don't want to let you I'm from Missoula, Montana. I'm from Hawaii. I lived on the island my whole life. I think I just wanted to get a new experience and like get off the island, you know, experience the four seasons. And yeah, I really like it here. It's really beautiful, even though it's not the same, but it's like its own beautiful. And our teammates are really nice and they make it feel like home. Definitely I stayed here just because my family is here and a lot of my family stays here. Um, but I really like the outdoors. I'm a really outdoorsy person. I like the hiking. I like biking. I like going on the river, all that kind of stuff. And I don't know, it's just a really nice, it's like a small community and it's really nice to just be in a really tight knit community, especially being an athlete at the university and everyone really supports us. So it's really nice here. Yeah.
empty, we were hollow. Shine with everything we were living for. And you see, so like some picture show, cross eyed. Smoking cigarettes on the street. Down she goes, goes she blows, cross eyed. Definitely the best thing about Coeur d'Alene is the scenery, the lake, all the wilderness. I mean, there's tons of things to do no matter what. You can go up on the mountain hiking, you can come down to the lake, you can go boating, tubing, I mean, just anything. And it's beautiful no matter where you go. We get snow, we get summer, we get fall, spring, we get, we get it all. <laughs> Definitely home, yep. On the fifth day of my road trip, I stopped by Moses Lake, Washington to visit my cousins who are owners of their own food businesses. All right, home. Why would I call this home? Well, I was born in Mexico, raised here. Not just, I wouldn't call this home just because I've been here the longest, but it's where I feel my potential is mostly valued and I could express it better. There's so much potential in this town and it could, anyone could thrive if you know what you want and you have the work ethics to follow through. It's a, an oasis, so we, if it's too hot, you could go swimming. If it's too cold, you could go to the sand dunes. You want to go swimming, we got the surface slide water parks. Anything around here, they don't have that. Not even Yakima. Wow. Yakima doesn't have a water park. They come all the way over here for that. Yeah. And all the little towns around us, Othello, Warden, Ifreda, todos vienen para acá por eso. So that's, if you're coming here, that's a place to go to. This town's giving us so much love. 
and that's why we like to give it back. We always help out as much as we can, donate when we can, sponsor when we can. People do appreciate us being here. Que nos, they come to our business. Mm -hmm. Not either just the restaurant, the taco trucks, or the espressos. A los tres van, so. Now, would you guys say this is your passion? Like, I mean, you guys, you, you started when you were like 11 years old doing this. I was born into the kitchen doing the radishes, doing the lengua. So it's what I know. It's like what we like doing. No, I don't really see myself in an office because it's not something I was born into like this. Start out as a chore, helping mom and dad unload the truck, helping them stock up the truck, started helping them. Just little thing, chores, because that's what we're, I mean, we grew up into it, that's what we call it home. We've been here, it's what we're used to, it's, we like it. We're uh, Taco Slinging Baristas. I love it. It's a revolution. No, I don't change up. Yo, holy ghost, holy ghost. They ain't sleeping on us, they comatose. I deliver heat like it's dominoes. Like a chef making A's, I'm on the roll. Cause I get it cracking and packing the magic. No matter the fabric and taking it backwards and multisyllabic attacking and throwing this over for packing the passion. Getting what I want like I'm batting my lashes. Make them all charged like it's battery acid. I done came up hitting multiple facets. Gotta find the pedal, do you know what the gas is? Channeling cash is the fight for the masses. Bless my soul. Can't touch my Tell energy. me that I can't be bold. You can't touch my Hands energy. up and I can't fold. You can't touch so my high energy. I can't get low. You can't touch yeah. my energy. Bless my soul. You can't touch my Tell energy. Tell me that I can't be bold. You can't touch my Hands energy. Hands up and I can't fold. You can't touch so my energy. So high I can't get Hands low. You can't touch yeah. my energy. There's something in the air that I can't stop letting my soul glow and they can't knock even Come when I'm so now. low. My hands can't drop even Come when they go now. low. I don't change up. Yeah. A hundred dollars down, yeah, yeah, them focus uh -huh. And I'm about to get faded like the sunset And let it go, uh, uh, and let it go, uh Uh-huh, started off this week real bad Paid up got cold when it's at my cash First of the month in the rent stew I'm trying to vent but it's hotter than the church pew In Louisiana with them little bitty fans on a stick Work my b off to the stands on my d Wanna book a tour, but the views ain't hit Yet the way to get fans is to use that Man, I'm trying to eat, break me off with the formula Started long ago, but my motor's still warm enough I can see the words touching bodies like a coroner Talking, but nobody understands like a foreigner And that don't really make no sense I'm saying few comprehend what the rest don't get So I'm dropping every week like a sitcom Cause my bank account got me on a mission And I'm down, yeah, yet I'm focused And I'm about to get faded like the sunset And let it go, uh, yeah, and let it go Alright, go ahead baby Go ahead, baby, I can let the dream killers kill my self-esteem and gas me up till I'm living out all my dreams. It's the sixth day of my trip and I meet more family members at Lake Chelan State Park, just three hours away from Seattle. The locals explain why everyone in Washington flocks to this natural marvel. Because it's a, it's a nice place to visit, it's clean. You, we try and give everyone cus good customer service. It's the sunshine and it's just being around in a park where there's so much beauty to look at. And qué qué le parece el lago y cuántas veces ha venido acá? Aquí venimos todos los años. ¿Dónde vive? Vivimos en cerca de Seattle. Un lugar que se llama Covington. Vivir en el estado es algo maravilloso. Y venir al estado es un lugar de los más bonitos que hay aquí. My Lake Chelan experience is a refreshing one and I feel great about finally coming to Seattle and selling my car. However, my main potential buyer begins to burst my bubble. I just wanted to let you know that I am actually looking at other options. Um, so, you know, if you find a buyer, um, you know, you can go ahead and sell it. Living, dreaming, and dreaming is what I'm feeling for. Give another option, my plot is to make a dreamer grow. From another part in the garden, my always seem to show. Beautiful visions of living, the world are just like a prism. Splitting light in all directions, just like a division. I'd rather pull it all together with natural addition. For my brothers, I want us to reach above the stars. Take it to another level whenever we are, we are. Unstoppable, uncrushable, nothing that I can do to make another one a question. It happened as I so was like orange juice mixed with ice, mix it through the night. I put on the music of life, right? We are in organic farming, our company, for the supplement industry, and so we sell a lot of product in China. So what we're doing is telling the story of clean air, clean water, uh, good soil. I like this uh, area 
the, the blue sky, yeah, and uh, air fresh, yeah, and everyone is very very nice. My hometown is uh, Xi'an. What do I like about uh, my hometown? Yeah, my hometown, the history very 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 long, F uh, five thousand years ago. Yeah, history. Hope you can have a chance to visit our hometown. Warm and Zoba. Let's go. Cause I'm writing in my head, working on the next I'm line. Down, yeah, 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 I'm focused. Like, yeah. I'm about to get faded like the sunset. And yeah. let it go. Uh, uh, yeah, and let it go. Alright. Go ahead, baby. Uh, yeah. Uh huh. Go ahead, baby. I can let the dream killers kill my self esteem. It gas me up till I'm living out all my dreams. Uh. Yeah. This is it, I finally made it to Seattle, the promised land. But my Prius's main potential buyer is being flaky and I'm down to the final 7 days before my visa expires. Other buyers are also not responding. Still, I remain positive at the suburb of Edmonds, where I meet more friendly faces right next to the sea. I'm a lover of nature and I love this place because it has a very good location and the people in admin are very friendly and I just adore all of them around here and I love to do the best for them. Uh, where are you from originally? I am Kurg actually from India. Uh -huh. I'm from Kurg, it's a coffee plantation place. Uh, I'm here just from uh, three months because uh, this is my brother's uh, restaurant so I'm just here to help him around. I'm from Senegal and I'm here in Edmonds to work basically just make a living. After being here for 12 years, I feel like Seattle is home. I love it because it's peaceful, it's quiet, it's beautiful in nature, as you can see. Can't complain at all. all I wanted was what you message but um, yeah I think I just decided that the Prius is gonna be too small because um, you know I have this the rescue dog the golden retriever and um, I mean I just need a bigger car for him um, it's just not gonna work out for me okay um, well good luck bye Hey, 
fade from light to black And when the sun go down There ain't no turning back I feel like everyone should come and visit Seattle Every, like just once or something. I wasn't. I have never been to Seattle before I moved here, and I fell in love with it. I love it. I want to live here forever. I've been here for four years. So I like the perfect balance of city and nature, and being able to hike and then go downtown, and it's beautiful. Everyone's just okay with everything. It's okay not to know. I call Poland a place where you can be your own person, no matter who you are. Black, white, orange, the blue. I love Portland, now the green. It's not really too hot. It's never real, real cold. I'd like to visit places, but I'm just home. This is my home. Look at this beauty around us. Look at the natural beauty. Look at the recreation that we got. Look at these sunsets. Look at these gorgeous days. It's very uh, comfortable place to live. You can strike up a conversation pretty much with anyone you run into, you know? What makes Portland so perfect is, I don't know, the people. Everyone seems to be really nice. You can get a hand from anybody. And it's a beautiful city. If you look just at the water right here, it's gorgeous.
of young people come here to retire? There has been mention of that, yes. a car from you, a really lovely car. Why do we like it so it's much? It's blue, kind of bluish greenish, like the sea. Hytham's been a student for the last three years, and we're both students. And in, I think in Libya, he's a fifth year, almost one test away from being a medical doctor. Well, I was an environmental science major, but I think I might have changed that to health science so that I can maybe do ecotherapy someday, get people outdoors. We are doing good progress. Like, we know, we, every day we know where we actually want to be. So just, like, like we are not desperate. Like, we have, like, always we look to the positive side, and we have hope. Like, well, you uh, do. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. I'm a little kind yeah. of a drag. But. Yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> How you could... Uh, what is home? Yeah. Home is where you are and where the family is, the children are. Yeah. yeah. I, I do it your way. Like, where, where my wife is, I consider that home. I'm looking forward to the future change. Right, if you're not growing, you're dying. Mm -hmm. Well, we really wish you good luck in your future. Bye. Thank you, guys. I'm just a poor wayfaring stranger Traveling through this world below There is no sickness, no toil nor danger In that bright land to which I go I'm going there to see my father and all my loved ones who've gone on. I'm just going over Jordan. I'm just going over home. Last day in Arkansas. <laughs> Six thirty. Yep. And how do I celebrate? By having Hardy's. Awesome. So, give me one test to speak. One test to speak. 
Estoy filmando mi última vez aquí en Facebook. Aquí tuve 23 años de mi vida. No, pues está bien. Y ya, <risa> ya va para afuera, o sea que no es, no es nada. ¿Ya no va a regresar ya? Pues, ya siento que Dios ya me está echando para otro lado. <risa>